So I want to talk about how to troubleshoot memory issues with reporting services. This has come up a few times. Uh, there's been some questions around how does memory work in reporting services. And we had a case uh, just the other day where they were actually running out of memory and we had to go figure out what that was. In the customer's case, it was a configuration issue. Uh, but I want to talk about some of the things you can do to identify and uh, what diagnostics are available and uh, just the approach you can take to try and narrow this down if it wasn't a configuration issue. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do here. We go ahead and start up our reporting services service. And while that's coming up, before we get into the meat of this, there is a great uh, document on MSDN which talks about how to configure memory for reporting services. And it talks about the different pressure states and what happens when. Um, we've got a low, medium, and high pressure state. Um, and the way those work are based off of whatever configuration settings that you have uh, within uh, the reporting services configuration file. We can have the, there, there are a couple different settings we can play with. Uh, one is uh, memory threshold. The other one is memory safety margin. And then we've also got working set minimum and working set maximum. Um, so working set minimum and working set maximum are not configured by default. They're not even in the rsreportserver.config. If you go to the documentation for the rsreportserver.config, you won't see those listed there. Um, they're only mentioned in this article that I have up right now. Um, the memory threshold and memory safety margin, those are configured by default. Um, so we've got one is 80%, one is 90%, and that 80 to 90% is based off of what reporting services sees as its total available memory for that process. That's not total physical memory on the box, it's whatever we set either by derived memory off of physical memory or uh, whatever was configured with working set maximum. And then the, the memory safety margin and memory threshold you can see in this little uh, graphic here that talks about when the memory or when the high, medium, and low memory pressure notifications will occur uh, between which setting itself. So if we've hit our memory threshold, which is 90% by default, and we're coming up close to the working set maximum, we're going to start doing high memory notifications uh, or high memory pressure notifications to start relieving memory or, or uh, reclaiming memory so that we have stuff available. Um, if we're between the memory safety margin, which is 80%, and then memory threshold, which is 90%, um, we're going to see medium memory pressure. And again, all of this is so reporting services can try and make room for whatever it knows that's coming um, and whatever allocations occur within uh, reporting services itself for rendering uh, reports or handling subscriptions or whatever. Um, in terms of how memory gets allocated in reporting services, Reporting services actually use what's called SQL operating system or SQL OS or uh, SOS. This is the same mechanism that the SQL database engine uses as well. So in terms of allocations, they happen very similarly. If you know how that works in, uh, in uh, SQL engine, uh, you'll be kind of familiar with how that works in reporting services. The difference being is that we don't have a bunch of DMVs we can go look at. Um, within uh, reporting services to go see what's happening. All we've got really is the trace log and then maybe performance monitor. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and reproduce the, the customer's issue that they had. So what I've done is I've pulled up uh, Report Manager and I've opened that up in three different tabs in the browser. Um, in here I've got a report that I created that will just soak up memory uh, with the amount of data that's coming back. Um, and so we'll go ahead and spin these off. Before we do, uh, let me talk, I've got some perfmon counters that are set up. In here, uh, I've grabbed a bunch from the process object. Um, private bytes is the main one I want to focus on because that's really where you're going to see this start jumping. Um, I also grabbed in some report server service items, uh, memory pressure state, shrink amount, and shrink notifications per second. Unfortunately, those remain at zero the whole time, so they're not actually pulling data, which is unfortunate. Um, so I will have to follow up on that and figure out why those aren't working. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this on. And we will see that our private bytes right now, which is the total memory for our process, we're sitting at about 315 meg right out the bat. Um, so that's just report manager loaded up. Um, there's no reports running, there's no subscriptions running, there's no nothing. Um, so we're just sitting at about 315 or uh, close to 320 meg right now of memory. So let's go ahead and spin off our reports. So we're going to crank three of them up. One, two, three. And if we go back to perfmon, we should see this thing jump up very quickly. All right, so we're already over a gig. This thing's going to crash. The minute we know it crashed from perfmon perspective is it'll stop 
yeah, there it went. <laughs> so there's no more data anymore, which means the, the process actually crashed on us. Um, it will restart on its own. Um, let's go ahead and we'll pause that. <clears throat> the other thing we'll see is that from the report manager perspective, we'll see a, a page request manager server error exception, basically saying we don't know what happened, something bad happened. And what happened was is that the service itself just dropped out from under us. So awesome. We just reproduced an out of memory issue. So let's go ahead and look at the report, uh, reporting services service log. Uh, by default, this is going to be in uh, wherever your instance folder is under reporting services and log files. Um, mine's on my D drive. Um, by default, that will be on your C drive unless you change that. And we can just pull this up in Notepad. A couple things we're going to no notice right off the bat. Uh, it's going to show derived memory configuration based on physical memory. So this is what RS thinks in the beginning what our total maximum memory should be. Uh, the other thing you'll see here is a bunch of initial... Uh, the other thing you'll see here is a bunch of initializing items. Uh, these are actually the settings that are within the rsreportserver.config file. And uh, these include everything that's uh, being uh, configured there. So let's keep going. What else do we see that's interesting here? All right, so we see total physical memory at this point. Um, that's showing that I've got roughly around 32 gig of memory on the box, which is true. I have 32 gig of memory on my machine. Um, what else are we going to see here? Okay, so after that, we're just going into the report manager items that are loading back and forth. And come down. Uh, we can see our render for new session for the, for the three reports that we kicked off. And then, and then we uh, see uh, an item here that basically at the end, it just says fail page allocation six. The, the six on the end, that number can be different. I've seen it as one, I've seen it as two. It basically just means that we failed to allocate a, allocate a page. Um, and within SQL OS, um, it does all of the page allocations for us. So it tried to do a page allocation and it couldn't. Um, there's not a whole lot else to go, uh, go with in this log file here. Sometimes you will see some warnings uh, right before the uh, fail page allocation. Um, I've had that before where you'll see like a... Uh, like a warning that a memory pressure trigger had, had occurred. Um, in this case, we don't because it happened so rapidly, it, it couldn't figure that out. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about in terms of how do we troubleshoot this is, one, uh, we can enable verbose logging for uh, the application domain manager, which is where those shrink notifications are going to come from. Um, instead of enabling verbose for everything, we can just do it on that category just to get insight. So to do that, we need to go to our reporting services service.exe. And uh, in there, we can see that uh, we need to increase default trace switch to four, which tells us to log verbose. And then under components, um, we're basically saying for everything, we're going to do uh, info and above. And for app domain manager specifically, we want to do verbose, which is four. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay, and we're going to bring up a couple of those. All right, let me try with just two this time and see what we get. And let's reset our perfmon counter so we can see that again. And we'll go ahead and start. And let's go back to this and we'll kick off our reports. There it's climbing. And we're over a gig. Yeah, we're probably going to crash here. All right, there, we just crashed. So we'll save it. So that, that time we just crashed with two of them instead of three. So this thing takes a lot. Uh, let's close this is the old log. Let's open up the new one. Uh, should be this guy. Okay, uh, so we see a bunch of the same stuff. Um, let's scroll down and see if we see anything different here. All right, so towards the end here, we can see all the shrink notifications that are occurring. Um, so we can see up at the top here, like receive uh, notified memory pressure. Pressure level was medium. Um, and as we get closer to the bottom, we should see some high pressure, and we do. 
So they're they're kind of towards the bottom before we started dying. So it's saying, look, you've got to get rid of memory because I can't, I don't have enough to work with. And then we got failed page allocation one, which means we crashed. Um, so this can kind of tell you like what led up to it. Uh, the thing I would look at first, so let, let's talk about how do we resolve this. Um, so the first thing I always look at, and the first thing I looked at in the customer's case was, what do they have working set maximum configured for? And so we can do this in the log file, or you can do it in the RS report server.config. And so right here we can see working set maximum is set to uh, a million kilobytes. So in this case, that's about a, that's about a gig of memory. And we saw that we were dying at about a little over a gig of memory and we were crashing. Um, so having that set to uh, a gig is not good at all. Um, this is what the customer had configured on, in their case. Um, when we looked at total physical memory on, in their log, they were showing about 137 gig of memory. And we were only giving one gig of that to reporting services. So what I think happened, um, we haven't confirmed it yet, but what, what I think happened was uh, there was an assumption that that value was in megabytes, not kilobytes. And so they thought they were telling reporting services that you had 100 gig to work with, not one gig. Um, so to get that to 100 gig, if that's what they really wanted, we'd have to add two more zeros on the end of that. Um, and that would allow us to, to get 100 gig for our maximum memory. Um, so that's the first thing I would look at. In this case, it was pretty straightforward because they had that set so low that that's what was causing the problem. So what about if working set maximum is not even configured, if we're just going with the derived memory based on total physical memory and we've got a bunch of memory available? Um, the next thing I would look at is if we go back in the logs, um, we can start seeing, uh, I, I start looking for like the render for new sessions. What report was run before we started seeing the pressure notifications. Um, that's usually the first thing I'll look at. Um, it could be that it's one report soaking up a lot of memory, or it could be a bunch of little reports that are just hitting at the same time and are contributing to it. So we need to look at that. Um, the other thing is whether or not, um, so if we've narrowed it down to a specific report, what's that report doing? How much data is it pulling in? Is there any custom code in the report? Are we using any type of third-party uh, extensions within reporting services that could be, you know, kind of going wild on us? Um, so those are all things we're going to have to go look at. Um, the uh, we, we can look at Perfmon to see what happened. Unfortunately, Perfmon itself is not going to give us a, any real insight into what's causing it. We need to go to the log and see what happened that led up to those pressure notifications. So... So we already looked at uh, verbose logging, so that's something that you can do to gain a little more insight into, okay, when exactly are we seeing the memory pressure notifications? You'll probably need to turn that on uh, to really see when did it first start and, bef and which report actually, which report was run right before those pressure notifications started. Um, the other thing to think about is uh, if you're just running out of memory because you just have a lot of reports and users hitting your box, uh, you may want to look at scaling out uh, from a report server perspective. Um, that'll spread the load a little more and uh, help you not hit the ceiling as fast. Um, the other thing you can look at doing if you're doing a lot of subscription stuff is move uh, subscriptions off to another server. That would also involve scale out, but um, it would allow you to process those subscriptions on a different machine that wouldn't impact our on-demand reports. Um, the last thing I'll, I'll talk about is uh, just playing nice with uh, other services. So if you happen to have like SQL Server and reporting services on the same box, which I do not recommend because they both want all the memory, um, you need to configure memory on those services so that they don't uh, kill each other um, or step on each other. So for SQL Server you'd have to set uh, max server memory and for reporting services you'd have to set working set maximum. Um, and make sure that they've got their own specific chunk of memory that they can play with um, without uh, getting hit. So. And then from the RS report server.config file, um, these will be under the service section. Um, and then under there, uh, memory safety margin and memory threshold are default values that will be there for 80 and 90% respectively. And then working set maximum and working set minimum, they're listed here, but they aren't there by default. So you can add them if you need to, um, but otherwise uh, they won't be there. And we'll just go off of physical memory. So, all right, hopefully that gives you some insight into how to uh, troubleshoot memory issues with reporting services. Thanks for watching.